Peggy 12. get on the multiplayer it's you versus other people in the Tron universe. It's a load of fun just playing with your friends and playing competitively against other people. We give you lots of tools, light tank, light cycle, discs, disc powers, capoeira, parkour. You can go level up, get some new weapons, upgrade your character and then you can just transfer into online with all of those things so it takes away a lot of the barrier to entry that some games have in terms of segregation between the single player and the online. We really wanted single player to be the training grounds for multiplayer. We took strategies that you'll use in multiplayer and we use those as a basis for our AI opponents. So you learn strategies to deal with those AI types and then when you get into multiplayer you see players employing the strategies you know what to do. You could find yourself spawning into a level, transform into a light cycle at any time, zoom to where you need to be, whether it's an objective, whether it's a deathmatch situation, you see energy lines or you see a tank, you can dismount and in mid-air you can run up a wall. When you're in the Game Freak games, you'll never know whether you're playing AIs or whether you're playing humans. If you're adept enough and skilled enough with any of the three light cycles in multiplayer, you could potentially do a 180, so that opens up a lot more tactical flexibility. It's actually a lot of fun to get online and play against nine other guys with the light disc, the light cycle and the light tank. 